Hi. As you may have gathered from my content, I absolutely love GeoGuessr. In fact, it is one of my all-time favorite video games. And like many, I have played it almost every day since I discovered it during the COVID pandemic in 2020. The game has many great aspects, but one of its worst is definitely its world map. World. The default map you play on for all official game modes, including duels, battle royals and country streaks. The world map is not at all what its name would suggest. It is heavily biased towards capital cities and famous landmarks. Its location distribution within any given country is fine at best and absolutely atrocious at its worst. All these problems would make for a very boring game, if World truly was the only available map. Luckily for us, GeoGuessr made the wise decision to allow its players to make their own custom maps. This completely changes everything, as there are lots of enthusiastic and dedicated players who would, and have, gladly put months of work into their own custom maps. Some smaller in scale, only covering certain regions or countries, others being more ambitious, stretching across the entire globe. For example, A Diverse World by Mapper is a spiritual grandfather of all custom maps. Its premise is that every included round is in theory pinpointable. More recently, lots of members from the GeoGuessr community worked together to make their own, more up-to-date rendition of a world map, with the same premise as a diverse world. This joint effort resulted in a community world, which features lots of interesting, often beautiful, locations. But what if you wanted to make your own map? I've noticed a severe lack of an in-depth guide to advanced GeoGuessr map making. This video is meant to shine a light on this often disregarded and more niche side of the GeoGuessr landscape. We will take a look at the different tools on offer and I'll give some advice which can go a long way in helping you create your very own GeoGuessr map. Firstly, let's take a quick look at the official tools GeoGuessr provides to its community. The default map maker can be accessed by going to the My Map section and clicking Create a new map. Give your map a name and we have already arrived at our first roadblock. The official map maker makes you choose between two different options for map making. One is called handpicked locations and the other polygonal regions. They both have a nice description outlining the way in which they function. Let's first look at the handpicked locations interface. You are dropped in an interface with a large map view on the left and some blank space on the right. When you click on some street view coverage, it will open a viewport on the right with the camera pointing north at that location. Pan the camera around until you find the setup you like and click update location. Do this four more times and congratulations! You just made your very own GeoGuessr map. If all you want to do is add five locations to a map and call it a day, this is good enough. But what if you want to cover a larger area and don't want to add thousands of locations by hand? That is where the polygonal regions map maker comes in. As you can see, the interface is largely the same as the handpicked one, with the main difference being the inclusion of tools to add and remove polygonal regions from the map. Use the tool to form a shape, and one will appear on the right side, with the total number of locations included. Much quicker than manual work. Unfortunately, there are a couple of drawbacks though. The first and biggest one being that the camera will always be pointed straight north at the horizon. This makes it very difficult to make NMPZ maps in this interface, as sometimes you can only see bushes or whatever else is visible on the side of the road. The second one are the locations themselves. This one is a bit harder to define, but basically it is theorized that in order to improve performance, the polygonal maps location chooser algorithm thingy has a predefined pool of locations it picks from. This means that two maps that cover the same area will include the same locations. Furthermore, this predefined pool is most likely just the dreaded world map itself. Overall, the default map maker is decent at its job, but it fails at being anything more than good enough. For people who want to make something more ambitious, there are other third-party tools which offer a much greater amount of tools. This is Rihanna's map maker. It looks pretty inconspicuous at first, but once you get to know it, you start to realize that it is a much more efficient way of making maps for GeoGuessr. After logging in using your Discord account, create a new map using the Create Map button. At first, after dropping in, you will notice that it bears some resemblance to the official map maker. 
You have the same map on the left, and when you choose a location, it will appear on the right in a viewport, which is much bigger than the official version by the way. First thing to notice here is that by default the location will be pointing along the road, offering a much better view of your surroundings. Another noteworthy change that I didn't mention in the first part is that Rihanna's mapmaker heavily favors official coverage over so-called ARI or unofficial coverage. Most mapmakers and geogasser players dislike ARI coverage because it overrides perfectly fine official coverage with inferior image quality. Another huge advantage to this mapmaker is the tools you get to help you organize your locations. You can add tags to keep track of the amount of locations you add in each region, or for what camera generation the coverage is in, or for example what meta is visible on it. The possibilities are virtually endless. One of the biggest features it provides is the ability to choose the coverage date on individual locations. If you wanted to, you could make a map of New York with just Gen 2 coverage using this option. Just make sure to export your map in the JSON format to prevent GeoGuessr from overriding your specified coverage date. All these features make Rihanna's mapmaker far superior to its official counterpart. Most, if not all, serious mapmaking efforts have been realized using this website. Have you ever looked at the popular maps section on the GeoGuessr homepage? There is a good chance you have spotted a map with the title containing the words AI Gen or AI Generated. Have you ever wondered what that actually means? Those maps were all generated using another community developed tool, simply called Map Generator. Its interface is very straightforward, providing you with options to configure the default camera direction and coverage date. Once you defined what countries or polygonal regions you would like to find locations within, it will start gathering. It is pretty cool to watch while it is in action. After it completes, you can export and then import the locations into Rihanna's mapmaker for further tweaking and tagging. Before I leave you to it, let's go over some final tips and tricks to improve your map making skills. The first one is simple, map balancing. You might have found yourself in this situation before. You start very enthusiastically on a project, only to find that after a while you get burned out and don't enjoy it anymore. It is important not to fall into that trap while making a map. It is not uncommon to start making a map and then having a lot of locations around that starting point only to then slack off and have other regions be underrepresented. To prevent this from happening, it might be useful to look up some statistics for the country or region you plan on covering. You can then divide the locations across these regions according to a formula, based on area, population or whatever else you want to base it on. You can even weigh the different parameters for an even more accurate distribution. This will make sure that you do not overrepresent any area. GeoGuessr maps have a variable distance from the actual location that you need to be within to actually get the 5k. The smaller the map, the smaller that distance is going to be. In order to maximize this distance, you can add two locations to your map. One on the North Pole and one on the South Pole. I'll link two candidates in the video description. I hope I helped someone out with this video. If so, leave a like or whatever. I don't really care. I do this for fun. Till next time, bye.